from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. We didn't get a whole lot of rain at the Evansville Airport yesterday, even though there were some pretty big dowsings across parts of the tri-state. In fact, just outside of Dixon in Webster County, over four inches of rain estimated by Doppler. There were parts of Davis County, uh, two to three inches of rain estimated by Doppler. And so we're talking about some pretty hefty totals, especially down in Western Kentucky. Well, we're not seeing a whole lot in Evansville, at least the past couple of days. Don't expect a whole lot today. I think the better chance is going to come to the east. We have 0 .03. Uh, so three one hundredths of an inch yesterday at the airport and barely a tenth of an inch the day before that. So even though there's been some big dowsings, it's been pretty spotty and even spottier today. As we take a look at our Ellis Park camera there, checking out the twin bridges in all the rusty glory. And you can see the traffic is rolling right along and plenty of that to go around too. And it's not exactly rolling right along. <laughs> I'll tell you what has gotten more active. It's the Ottoman Village light. I'm catching that more often lately for whatever reason. I think these dudes have done the same thing. But, I mean, traffic is kind of moving a little bit. Northbound on 41. Let's just hope it keeps on moving a little bit, and maybe a little bit more over the next hour or so. Roof claim. Camera on top of the Hampton Inn. There's a barge working its way across to Jaeger Materials. Uh, the river looking a little browner than usual. And of course, you can get that rain up river. The river's going to rise whether you got rain on the river or not. And they've seen that, certainly. We've seen plenty of rain in parts of, you know, really the Ohio Valley, the Mississippi Valley. You can see the traffic, too. It is pretty thick, and it is working its way, for the most part, looks like in Warwick County right there, at least from that shot. That's looking for Deaconess Gateway on our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. 78 degrees right now. Dew point's actually down a little bit from where it was around daybreak this morning. Uh, it's 68. I mean, it's still humid, but it's not very humid. Uh, West-southwest wind at 11. That's nice. To have that wind out there kind of blowing your body heat away from you certainly helps out. Temperature-wise, how low can we go? 75 Ligoti, 76 French Lick, 77 in Jasper, 78 in Santa Claus, 79. That would be fine. I do not see it. Uh, I see an 80 degree temperature in Beaverdam, 81 in Fordsville, and 82 in Morgantown. So if only for a 79. 77s in both Henderson and Owensboro. We had a lot of 77s earlier. Hey, we want to give a big shout out to some big sunflowers and the dude that grew them. Randy Flintner, all five feet nine inches. Check out how he is stacking up against his sunflower that's better than 10 feet tall. That is a whopper. And that is a bunch of whoppers that are growing there. Way to go, Randy. Uh, and you're growing. All right, here's a great looking shot here too from Mary Roll. And her husband James sent this one in. If you look closely, you can see the crescent moon. Really cool shot right there amid all the gray clouds. Of course, we had the showers and thunderstorms yesterday, but right along the horizon, we've got that strip of clearing. Looks like a thunderhead off in the distance. It's kind of decaying just a little bit. That's an awesome shot. Mary, thank you so much for that picture. Live first warning Doppler has expected most of the activity to the east and down to the southeast, and that's where we've seen the rain pretty much firing up over the past hour. It's a one-hour loop, pretty good rain shower, kind of moving out of Dubois County into Orange County, and really out of the tri-state. We've also seen some showers and thunder showers kind of firing up down around Madisonville. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Saw a little bit of lightning earlier, so there's really not a whole lot to be had there. Not expecting anything severe today, but of course lightning is always a threat. And got some heavier rain too, showing up in McLean County, just missing Mama's house though there in Calhoun, Angie. And then you got also it's a little bit of rain now about ready to trickle into Owensboro. Some showers, looks like a moderate shower though around Mount St. Joe. So kind of working its way up to the northeast. And then as we kind of work our way up to the north to show you that rain we've got cutting through Dubois County. It's about out of the county right now. That's a one hour loop again. And then southern Knox County catching a little bit of rain. Looks like a little shower just popped up right along the Wabash River too. It's about to work its way into Gibson County. A uh, storm tracker. Well, we've got this area of low pressure. That low was pretty much centered over St. St. Louis yesterday. Now it's drifting to the northeast and kind of carrying the rain with it. You're going to get most of your rain with these low pressure systems out ahead of the low. So it would be in this case east of the low. And we've got these showers and thunderstorms. You're seeing the breaks in the clouds though. We're getting more sunshine as that low continues to work its way farther and farther away uh, from the tri-state and losing some of its hold. So yeah, expect most of the rain to be east and southeast with a few showers up to the north and out to the west. But really, by and large, we're going to be seeing most of our heavier pockets of rain down to the south. Again, not expecting anything severe. We are going to see a decent amount of sunshine this afternoon, it looks like. Temperatures could be warming up to the mid-80s, which is a few degrees below the average. But at the same time, it's still plenty humid, so it's going to feel like it's close to 90 degrees out there. And then as we head into the overnight hours, things settle down, and it looks dry for a change for our Wednesday. But it's going to be a hot one tomorrow. Again, rainfall amounts a little less up to the north and west. Better chance is going to be down to the south and east. And we are seeing some decent amounts there. So that's over the course of the day today. And then we get a break from the rain pretty much for two days, tomorrow and Thursday. Just a slight chance on Thursday afternoon. High today is going to be low to mid-80s. Clouds, some sunshine too, and a little more sunshine from here on out than what we saw earlier today, too. Scattered showers, a few thunder showers, nothing severe. Humid, yes, 
But with a southwest wind at 5 to 15, that certainly helps out on a warm, humid day to have that wind out there. And over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be heating up, at least over the next two, 90 degrees tomorrow. And again, not expecting any rain on Wednesday. So that'll be a nice little change of pace. <laughs> You're going to be sweating it out, though. It's going to feel like mid-90s when you tack on that humidity. It's not going to be excessive, the humidity, but it's going to be humid enough. And then 92 degrees for our Thursday and a slight chance of rain. And here comes a good chance of rain Friday, especially in the afternoon. Looks like the morning, for the most part, should be dry. And then Saturday and Sunday, heaping helping a rain over the weekend, Angie. And I'm not happy about oh, any well. of that. Oh. All right, check this out. This low rainbow in Philpott, Kentucky. Alex Bryan got the shot. Oh, and I tell you, when you get the high angle sun, if you catch them earlier in the day, a lot of times you see rainbows in the evening, and obviously they're big and beautiful in the sky. This is a little lower in the sky because of the higher angle sun, but it's a great shot by Alex. The I love low bow. Low angle rainbow. Nothing like that, it. You see that rain curtain right there beside it, too, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Love it. And Amanda Hardy's here. She's cool, too. There you go. She's next.